As you know, we have qualified to the first CS2 major and I want to share a couple of moments from our decider map that secured us the spot at the biggest tournament of the season. You are about to experience first-hand analysis of key rounds paired up with voice comps of my team to fully immerse yourself into my thinking process. Incredibly messy and tight game is where we can highlight some of the great insights but also spot mistakes that even you watching this video can work on. This was definitely one of those games, so without any delay, let's jump into it. Whole match started with Ecstatic winning their map pick, Inferno, and we won our map, Ancient. Nobis is where everything gets decided and as you know, this map is the only T-sided map in the competitive map pool right now. So for us, seating T-side should give us slight advantage to keep the momentum. But the things started extremely sloppy for us. During the pistol round, we found ourselves in 4v2 situation that we couldn't convert. And here is the first mistake that might have cost us the round. Lurking behind the pillar, waiting to deal some damage. USP in the palms, getting sweaty, but finding the flick back across into the head of Jacob. One for one though, and the B-bomb site is being fought for. Well, it certainly is. They're gonna fight and die on this ground. In the strategy, we were supposed to have C4 on Jacob or Sasanito to bring it through connector rather than having it on players in B main. This caused us not to initiate after plan because we were unable to cross to the side safely. Sure, we should have traded CTs in that 4v2 anyway, but you can see that even this little strategic hiccup impacts the rounds at the top level. Luckily, we find our footing back into the game in the following force buy. Just a second before our A hit, I heard Queenix releasing a flash from side, which made it easy for me to understand how I need to pad with Tech 9 as an entry. I know I need to run at Queenix, close the distance, in order to give a space to my teammates behind me with Galils. Overall, clean entry to the side made it impossible for CTs to even attempt the retake and we converted a much needed round early in the hall. I admit that the way I survived this aim and push from Ecstatic is a bit lucky, but I will refer to this round for the context of the play later on. During the moment, I thought they just hit a good timing on me and I was able to recover from flash in time. However, this play is something Queenings will do to counter me in gun rounds. So keep this round in mind to spot the pattern. And actually, here is the pattern. They're abusing my nade set to take aim in, which is a smoke and molly. I'm throwing it from open position and am vulnerable to flash plays for a brief period of time. And Queenix is aware of this, but now he used it second time already and I know I need to adapt. Another thing I noticed is that Salazar is getting flash assists, which is all proof ecstatic and that means that B is weak during these times where they are trying to counterplay me. I communicate this to the team and we shift our game plan slightly based just on this little piece of intel I was able to gather within the first five rounds of the game. Before we jump to the next round, I want to kindly ask for a little favor. One click is all it takes to make my day and help me reach even more players and help them develop. If you consider subscribing, I will be honored and thank you for watching, but now Let's get back into the action. This round is extremely important and we managed to convert unfavorable situation thanks to understanding how A players play during our splits. Salazar gets two openers in camera smoke, but we also spot another rifle next to him. Only way to convert this round is to push them while they're in the open without too much cover and in the end we close out after plan with Nock in 2v3 clutch. Have a listen to our comms during the moments. Doing a trade go, go, go. Guardian. Guardian. Side, 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 Pick him, please. Pick him, pick okay. him. Uh, nice, what's up behind? Nice! Now that I know Queenix counterplay, on to my nade set, I decide to take A main dry and bring the duel to him without any utility. I keep searching as A main is clear and I hit kind of insane shot on him on site. Not much has happened here, but I remember I had this strange feeling of, wow, I shouldn't have killed him there. And I felt like the only reason I was ready to adjust my crosshair was the aim training I'm doing daily. I know it is weird to say and also weird for you to hear, but sometimes, a few times a day, I have this feeling that I'm getting a frag I shouldn't be getting and I immediately attribute it to my aim training because 
I play tasks that are very similar to the adjustment I needed to make at this moment. Maybe this is possible, but it motivates me to do it even more. Um, well, I just wanted to share this if any of you feel the same way. In this round, Jaken, my mid player, falls early and since we're starting 3B, I understand I will be left alone this round to do best as I can. The rotation is nowhere near and I'm forced to make some kind of play to make retake a possibility. The rotation is nowhere near and I'm forced to make some kind of play to make retake a possibility. I decided to fully commit to A main duel as that is usually where only one or two T's come from during A splits. Fortunately for me Queen X was alone and I out duel him clean. Now I understand the rest of T's are coming from camera but I have no idea how close they are. I managed to improvise a solid pop flash for myself but they beat it and I get only one kill before being traded. Still puts us into a winnable situation, but they edge us out in the end. Kakanito's been so confident in these plays. He's done this a few times. You thought Patty had his number, but he plays him, gets the kill and backs off. That second as well. Amazing play by Sasanito in connector enables me in a huge way. Pay attention who Sasanito kills. Phoenix is an A player who was just on his way to B connector, which suggests that A is completely open for me to flank. This flank is a good read by me, as it enables us to retake from three different positions later that B side, and we close out another important round. This is actually pretty funny as I did similar counter to Queenix he did to me in the first half. Just letting him taste his own medicine, I guess. This kill again enables me to go for a late round flank when T's decide to attack B because I know Queenix has been already dealt with. My flank provides enough information for JCam to clean up and we found ourselves on the match point. One round away from the major. It's gone down, they know he's B main. They know exactly where Salazar is and with 18 seconds he will lose his life four qualification points for the first time i actually face some kind of pressure towards a and i called a bluff on this play we decided to focus on middle instead because that is what they have been using for the most of the match however now that i'm doing this video i noticed something i didn't notice in real game I hear Galil shooting through the smoke and also Deagle in a lobby shooting into connector This should have given me an indication to make a better call and instead stay on A to stop the execute. Well, I guess this is proof not only you learn from these videos, but also myself. The last round, I would love you to have a full listen to the comms and enjoy not only the A hold, but also 2v3 clutch, which booked us a ticket to Copenhagen Major. Wait, M4. Let's go to the box. A, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Blind, bullet. Okay. Right, one more. More or? More? Yes, it's safe. One HP, one HP, one. Mid is open. I don't see mid. Nice, nice one. One more pillar and one is side. Fight. You should pay, guys. I'm smoked off camera. Okay. Team is heaven. Main. They're not out. They're not close. I'm on HP, guys. No, no one mid. Yes, I'll play camera. One in heaven. Flash, smoking inside camera. Main, they got us. Flashing. Main. One Flashing. Main. So bad. Pillar. Fine. One pillar, one can be side. Should be side. I think he's inside that smoke somewhere. That nice, two right inside. Inside. probably. One, we Twing and kill him, oh, kill him, kill him, kill him. Go, go, go. Okay. Two, inside that smoke. Yes. I kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Nice, 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 nice. I hope you're enjoying the content I'm making on this channel. I hope it feels like you are on this journey to the major together with me because I've been pretty transparent about my practice and improvements over the past few months on this YouTube channel. So if you want to join me on this journey now, you're welcome. Hitting that subscribe button has never been easier. And with that, I want to thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.